Hi, my name is Rich Trell. I write Cubs poetry, and I have for several years. You may remember my brother, Steve Trout, who played with the Cubs back in the 1983-85 era. Well, I wanted to write a poem to commemorate uh, some important uh, moments in Cubs history and the hiring of Theo Epstein as the new president of baseball operations is one of those occasions. Here goes. When the Cubs last won the series in 1908, no one could have imagined how long they'd have to wait. Years turned into decades, to be specific, over 10. Yet Cub fans still believed, not knowing how, not knowing when. But the futility continued, though not for lack of trying. They changed the personnel, sometimes selling, sometimes buying. And then there were the years when the team got oh so close. But something always happened to perpetuate their woes. There was that famous meltdown, the foul ball, or worse, an error in the ninth, or that goat-inspired curse. It was finally decided that the patchwork had to stop. To change the situation, they must start at the top. The Tribune sold the team to the Ricketts family, rich by any standards, with a Chicago pedigree. The wheel started turning till Tom made a key decision. He tried to get a Red Sox man to fill the top position. Mr. Epstein had experience with a franchise that was cursed. The Bambino's hex on Boston had finally been reversed. He brought two series victories to historic Fenway Park. We'd be happy with the same results at Addison and Clark. He chose front office people from those whom he knew best, from Boston in the East to the Padres in the West. Then October 26th, he faced a thousand queries. First, of course, when will the Cubs get back to the World Series? Well, the path will not be easy. We'll work hard every day. The culture will need changing, but we will find the way. Chicago needs a series for generations now and past. We're building a foundation, a foundation that will last. With the hope that springs eternal from every Cubby fan, their wishes have been granted. The Epstein era just began. So to every diehard cub, every mom, dad, son, and daughter, while he's the best man for the job, he does not walk on water.